Good morning, everyone. Welcome to RadioSilentPlay.com. I am your moderator for today on Sunday, June 14th, 2015. Let me start off by saying I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence before trading any stock or options. Trading stocks and options require lots of risk. Okay, so we're going over the week ending on June 12th, 2015. I'm going to start off with the OTC market. Ticker symbol is SUGO, SUGO, American Mineral Group. This was a stock that was given out at a buy zone from 17 to 25. And before that, it gave us an opportunity to just add at these bottom levels. Okay, Usually when I trade stocks, what I usually do is I, I like to bring stocks that are a little bit lower risk, higher reward. And this was a stock that was a little stagnant, you know, not much volume, but we knew it only had 50 million outstanding shares. With that said, it, it did take some time. It did rally and then it offered us a couple of pullbacks down here to have 14, 15. That look, seems like that sweet spot. Um, last week, I was mentioning that cup and handle. We had this round here, this move. If you notice here, we had a huge rally from that uh, 0.0018 level to that 0 0.03. Then we saw that big drop. Okay, and then you had that round the bottom. You had a little bit of a cup and handle. Okay, pulled back and then rallied. Okay, on two consecutive, uh, well, two consecutive weeks, we had a pullback down to this uh, test of this 0 0.0015 level and it held. We saw this um, again on Friday, a low of 0 0.0015 and then the stock rallied and closed at 0 0.0032. So the stock is very thin on ask. Okay, the level two shows the potential of this stock to be to be easily moved. Um, on Thursday, we had a huge volume over, I believe it was over, um, I think it was about over uh, 3 million, 4 million shares traded and then uh, on um on uh, Friday, we, we had over 1.4 million. So there is a lot of accumulation around this range. If you notice here, you had that 20-day that, uh, moving average trading and conversion here on that 50-day moving average for a golden cross. I still like the potential here. If we do happen to close above this 0 0.005 pivot, okay, we have a path to least resistance from uh, 0 0.01 to that 0 0.025 level. So there's a lot of room here. Okay, I do feel that this stock has potential to continue moving and um, you just have a nice range here um, for this potential. So I do like this potential uh, uh, here for, for the for the SUGO. So we will be monitoring this. I, I think that 0 0.0015, there's a lot of people just adding and accumulating shares down there. Okay, the next stock that we're going to go over is uh, ticker symbol PNOW. This has been an ATM um, stock. Okay, this is the daily chart. Every time it kissed that level, we saw this move. And um, we had, we saw a potential a break actually a breakout here on that news. It offered an entry from 13, hit a high of 27, pulled back all the way down to this 13 level again, and then we saw a nice move up to that um, 29 range. Then we pulled back, okay, tested that 20 level, and then we saw a high of um, 29 again. So uh, right now this uh, 0 0.002 or 0 0.0019 um, eight day moving average is holding. Okay, what we want to see this stock do is close above that 0 0.0027 on two consecutive closes for a potential retest of this uh, this move here. This move was from uh, 0 0.0019 to 0 0.015. The stock continues to put out news, so um, there could be more potential here on the PNOW. They did raise some authorized shares, um, not by much. It did create a little bit of concern, but like I said, you know, when we're ever we're, we're training these stocks, we're looking at the the entry buy zones and then we have a nice stop here um, to secure and manage risk okay so I just want traders to understand that's what our radio silent play does we give the entry buy zones and we kind of limit that risk so um, regardless of whether you know you're having bad news uh, what we want to do is we want to buy by the setup okay the next stock is um, here uh, MJ MJ okay this was a stock that uh, kind of sent out um, back when it was uh, here at that 0 0.001 level, um, gave an opportunity to enter here from 15 to 25, which I thought was a good entry. We saw a huge rally here to that 0 0.014 level, and then since then, you know, it's kind of broken down. So um, right now, if you notice here, we're holding what you call a bullish inside flag pattern. I told traders to watch that 0 0.0036 um, re-entry level, and uh, you know, it actually gave an opportunity to actually enter here from uh, that 0 0.0035 to 0 0.0045. I think this is going to be a good uh, opportunity for a bounce here. So um, watch that 0 0.0035 to 0 0.0045 for an entry. 
Right now, we closed at 0 0.0058. If we do happen to close above that 0 0.006, I think that's a, the, the pivot range here for the MJMJ. Um, just overall, we're seeing this bullish inside flag pattern. What I would do is I would keep my stop closed below that 0 0.0035 level on two consecutive closes. Uh, next stock is ticker symbol COTE. This was a stock that I've mentioned uh, when the stock was kind of trading down here, you know, it was kind of, you know, posting in these lows at that 0 0.0012, just a lot of selling into, into the market uh, at this range. Since then, it had that news, it rallied, just skyrocketed, hit that high at 0 0.0164. Since then, it's pulled back. I told traders to watch that 25 to 35 level, and um, we actually saw a nice... Um, a nice pullback down to that low of 0 0.0033 so this actually triggered for a re-entry okay uh, it did close at 0 0.0038 what we want to see is this bullish inside flag pattern hold watch that 0 0.0003 support okay any pullback down to this 0 0.003 should be a good buy zone opportunity I think that um, this low of the day here at 0 0.0033 should be bode well for support so keep an eye on that level 2 for that 0 0.0003 support for a re-entry Okay, the next stock is ticker symbol SNXG. This, by far, I don't think it's uh, done. Uh, it, it hasn't even really gotten started. It actually gave us an opportunity to enter um, as low as uh, 0 0.0011. It triggered 14s, which I was talking about, that that 52-week uh, low. did rally. Okay, we had a high of uh, that 0 0.0032 for a nice uh, trade. Since then, it's pulled back. It's holding that 19 level, 0 0.0019 support, that 8-day moving average is at 21 so what we're looking for is for some consolidation here if it does pull back you know I think that this stock is extremely oversold so you can look to keep on uh, accumulating you see the accumulation distribution this thing does have a lot of room any updates and we'll see a nice rally we saw this with the AURI you know um, this, and, and like I said you know it's buying when, when no one else is you know that's what pays off in this market uh, sometimes what traders look for is uh, high volume and they start looking for the pumps on uh, social medias but sometimes it's just about buying these stocks when nobody else is and just waiting for that stock to kind of kind of rally on its own okay the next stock is ticker symbol SLNN saline automotive okay this was a stock that actually pulled back gave a low at triple zero seven then rallied um, saw a nice high over here at um, 0 0.0014 now what it's doing is it's kind of consolidating in this bottom range Okay, if you want to look for a buy zone, look at that probability trade from triple zero to uh, eleven. Okay, triple zero eight to eleven with a stop close below eight two times. Um, the stock is oversold. We're just waiting for this stock to kind of break above that fourteen on two consecutive closes, um, and that's the high from um, the low of triple zero seven. Okay, the next stop is ticker symbol WSGI. We talked about this weekly uh, chart. Okay, it is in that W pattern. You know that move down here. You have wave one, wave two, uh, which I, you know, we look at Elliott wave theory patterns. Okay, right now it saw a high of 17. Can um, it's having a little trouble breaking that 21 day moving average at 18. But when it does, I would not be surprised for the stock to test this 27 level. Okay, watch for any updates. It does have a nice website. Okay, it is a, a, a security stock, so they deal with uh, surveillance, and that's pretty much the name, World Surveillance Group. So uh, with the times, you see a lot of uh, talks about uh, terrorism and about high insecurity. You have government contracts uh, potential, so you never know with this stock. You could see uh, some some updates. Okay, next stock is uh, ticker symbol NRTI. This was a stock that actually triggered uh, this week. It gave an opportunity to enter at 13, hit a high of 21. Then we pulled back, tested at 0 0.0011 level, and now what we're doing is we're holding that uh, that low. We got a little bit of a bullish reversal candle. I was looking for a high close at 14, but we closed at uh, 13. So uh, watch this stock into next week. The stock is oversold, and I do feel that this has potential uh, for uh, a rally reversal. Next symbol is ticker symbol UAMM. Okay, this was a stock that I gave from probability trades from 9 to 11. Since then, uh, we've tested that, that 18 level, so gave an, a nice uh, rally uh, for profits up to 60%, 70%. Then the stock pulled back, gave that re-entry down here at 0 0.0012. We closed at 17. And now what you're noticing is a little bit of a bullish flag pattern. Okay, from this move, now you're seeing some consolidation or bullish inside flag pattern consolidation here. Watch for that break.
close above 18 on two consecutive closes. If you do, you have a lot of room here, okay, to that 0 0.0035 to maybe even 0 0.005. So uh, just keep an eye on the UAMM, okay. It is a thinly traded stock, and it does trade well. Now moving on to the big boards, uh, we're going to talk about SPY, the S&P ETF. Um, just a beautiful move off this 211.50 to 212 level. Um, and we talked about shorting the market there. Uh, we were talking about high, um, lower highs, okay, or that, that two close below 209 two times. And then we gave that target of 208.80. Uh, and if you notice here, um, we just had a beautiful move down here to 207.69. Uh, so that actually triggered. Then we went long um, at 207.90. And then we ended up trading this higher to that 212, uh, 211, uh, 50 high. So just a good move here on the SPY for traders that we're kind of following. Next uh, stock was the IWM. Okay, we talked about the IWM. Um, we were saying that 126.80 to 127.60 is going to be that resistance level. And that's exactly what it did. Um, we gave an opportunity to uh, come over here. And we saw a high here of uh, 26.48 and then this it actually kind of broke down and then we saw a low of 125.43 so that, that was a nice move there if you took it you know when we when we went um, long on the stock we we're talking about that 123 124 level and it actually tested that 125 level so right now there's a lot of volatility you kind of got to pinpoint where you want to go long and where you want to go short uh, we give you those levels, so if you want to know those levels, just come on RadioSilentPlay.com. Uh, join us for a free trial. Okay, now moving on to Apple. Okay, Apple kind of broke down. We were talking about going short at that Apple uh, with a close below 130.90 uh, on two consecutive closes or that 131, 132.60 kiss. And that's exactly what we saw here. We closed below it, and now if you notice, we saw that big drop down to that um that 126 level now it's holding a little bit um, what we're looking for for that support is that 125 126 20 ultimately what you want to keep an eye on okay and write this down is that 124 10 that 124 10 is key level here of support 124 to 125 you want it to kind of hold this trend line down here okay so you want to keep an eye on the apple for that 124 10 to 125 40 level Okay, now moving on to the small caps, EXTR, ticker symbol EXTR. This gave us an opportunity to enter at $2.54 on May 26th, and we just saw a huge rally here to $3.10, and that actually hit our potential target. So that was just a good trade, um, almost like a month hold. So just a good move here. Um, the UWTI, we saw that oil was, was kind of rallying, gave us an opportunity to enter as low as $3.06, and we saw that huge huge move up to that three dollars and seventy cents uh, range uh, took some profits off the table now what you want to see is this continue to hold if not just watch that two dollars and ninety for support okay so that's pretty much it I will be back um, later on uh, for premium members we're gonna post a weekly watch list small cap watch list and also the options watch list if you want to know what's gonna be on it okay you gotta sign up just sign up to radio silent play uh, dot com and if you have any questions or any comments, if you have any ticker symbols you got, you guys want to go over, just you know comment on the comment box down below. Okay, take care, everyone. Have a good trading week.